see you. I'm in a bit of a situation here. Locked in. And I'm not alone. What should we do? How do we get out of this room? You have just found a new battery for the girl's phone. Some Omniview abilities require battery power, and will not work when the girl's phone is not well charged. You will probably find more batteries lying around this facility. You may also recharge the phone at a demon server or inside confinement rooms. Hmm. I'll hold on to this. Zero at the ready. Hello, it's Cooper. Good job getting the girl out of immediate danger. You seem to have a solid handle on things. With the arrival approaching, we're being watched more closely than ever and so I have to pretend to work. However, I'm installing a help desk in your OmniView display. Select the help desk icon if you need my expertise along the way. Good luck tonight. No doubt, the girl would be doomed without you. So the girl wants to find the librarian. I hope he can help her, but I fear she may overestimate his influence inside Metamorphosis. This place is changing, evolving into something even more sinister than its original purpose. In searching for the librarian, remember, you have a map. Use it to check out areas you've visited. Prisrak's intentions 
Monsignor Octavo joins Metamorphosis. Librarian is now preeminent manifesto scholar. I met the librarian this morning. He's a sweet man with his heart sewn directly onto his adorable little lapel. And I do so admire his passion for literature. In a former life, I would swoon over a well-read man. But I hope for his sake, he learns to bury that part of himself. In here, following your passion is the shortest road to recalibration. Three nine zero H. You must hurry along now. The rest of your class is already inside. Why does he hold those books away from us, Senor Octavo? It is the headmaster's belief that those books sully the minds of pre-cows and should therefore be removed from our curriculum. But that isn't what you believe, is it? Books like these do not paint a rosy picture of the world, but they are not meant to. They are not paintings of the world we want. They are mirrors, reflecting the world we have. Why 390H? I see you're admiring our latest installation. Why do you keep these books away from us? I can handle them. <laughs> Maybe you're right. However, there are others in your class who are not as strong as you. And books like those can make them sick. Would it be fair to let you read them, but keep them from your friends? That doesn't sound fair. Well then, so are you saying you would prefer that they read them too? Will you have their illness on your conscience? I don't want that either. Of course not. I am not a filter for your ideas, child. I am your shield. There is so much ugliness in this world. Let me stand in the way of it. Let me stare it down. Your eyes are too pretty to witness such things. I... I appreciate the compliment, Headmaster. Glad we didn't stick around to find out. The library is just through these doors. The librarian will help us. He'll show us a way out of here. may come in handy. The library. It feels so quiet after hours. It used to be filled with books.
The librarian's glasses. His office is up there, third floor. We should go to him now. Got my post secure. Hmm. I'll hold on. Make a wish, but don't tell me what it is or it won't come true. I wish the headmaster was dead. Weep. Don't talk like that. Zager said that someday the truth will rain down on this place and wash away all of the headmaster's lies. I've never seen the rain before. Zager wasn't talking about the rain. He was talking about the truth. I don't care about the truth. I just want to know what rain feels like. Zager's silence deafening. The notorious terrorist is quiet, scheming. The arrival is just weeks away, and public enemy number one has gone radio silent. If the headmaster, or overseer, or whatever name he goes by these days, plans to take a bow on the world stage, he can't have a phantom hiding in the wings ready to sabotage his big production. I shouldn't complain. It's going to be one hell of a show. Be careful. The Prizrak in this part of the facility are unpredictable in their rounds. You never know where they might turn up. Everything looks good. Good idea. We can recharge here. My pockets are full.
Nothing. of the girl. Marquez would have you believe he's a prophet? A man possessing otherworldly insight into how each state's downfall is predetermined? Well, surely he did not predict how his rampant vulgarity and celebrations of incest in 100 years of solitude would play before the court of his own state's generous overseers. I say we banish him for life. Plus a century, librarian. Salinger, amateur sculptor of teenage angst. In Catcher in the Rye, he forces us to watch Holden flit from school to school. Oh, poor Eo, tormented by Hera's gadfly. When Caulfield realizes that he, not the institutions, beleaguer him the most, he is truly at risk. Our beloved pre-cows must never know their gadflies and ever rely on their republic to satisfy. We don't need another Mark David Chapman. Equipping P0. Good spot. They can't see me here. Rizrak, checking in. It's the right thing to do. Librarian, OK's decision to protect pre-cows from literary rot. Do you want me to literally eat my words? Oh, I am sorry, Miss Sade. I should not have thrown that newspaper at you. 
But how could you write this? I did not agree to ban books. The very implication hurts me to the bottom of my soul. Well, I am sorry about your hurt bottom. But I used only direct quotes from you, librarian. See here. You said about Fahrenheit 451, and I quote, It is worse than distasteful. It is revolting. Your words. You asked me what I thought about the burning of books, not the book itself. You did say it, though. This is insanity! You are shameless. Then take it up with the overseer. And pick up this mess on your way out. The librarian's portrait has been taken down. I hope this is only a symbolic gesture. Sounds good. That's more than I can carry. Quiet here. It seems this door requires Omni Level 2. You can upgrade your OmniView software at a demon server. I'm detecting a demon server near the Overseer's office. The nearest approach is from the museum. yours is mine. Check in. I hope they can't see me here.
trying to freak out. It's locked. To get into the headmaster's office upstairs, we will need his pin code. I don't have it in my files, but we can recover it. We'll need to answer some security questions first. Prophet infiltrates metamorphosis. Masquerading as Prizrak, man brings toxic agenda to our perfect garden. The man's name is Zager, I believe. Daniel Marcus Zager. Apparently he was some kind of journalist on the outside. If the overseer was smart, he'd label this as an act of supreme jealousy. After all, Ours is a nation so wonderful that people risk death to sneak inside. Hmm. Maybe we should take the initiative and lead with this angle. Can you hack this open? Illustrating in pointless detail one's sexual perversion does not make for good writing. Miller's Tropic of Cancer is about as sexy as cancer itself. Our beloved pre-cows must never suffer the caustic eruptions of desire this book desires to make possible. Like innocence lost, circulated contraband cannot be totally retrieved, but it may be Tended. When we remove the object of desire, we erase the possibility for dissent. Ah, Ellison, who lets his nameless protagonist 
vacillate between conforming as an amnesiac of racial disadvantage and recalling all the doors locked by white hands. Belonging versus integrity. This book keeps open and raw such dichotomies, like festering wounds, while preserving an outdated model of social conflict. Invisible man should remain invisible. <laughs>